that the last time you guys raced off, the Kia was quicker until you added the turbo? Here is David Freiberger to give you a little bit more story on those. So why are we here with the Kia? When we did uh, episode 25 of Roadkill, we did a big shootout of all of our project cars and the Motor Trend guys, the Motor Trend magazine, they wanted to punk us. So they brought the lamest car in their press fleet to try and outrun us and they beat seven out of nine of our cars. Uh, which is not a surprise because it has ABS on it and our cars are basically a quarter mile skid to a stop. So uh, we had to redeem ourselves, we threw a turbo on the 240Z, came out here and just outran the deal with it. So. Our job is done here. Sweet, and thanks for the entertainment giving me something to make fun of this weekend. And my hat's off to you guys. I really like your road and skill shows. And think you're doing an awesome job with the Hot Rod Magazine. Again, thanks for coming out to the Good Guys Autocross here in Scottsdale. As Bob Hall is on the course right now for his first run of the day out of Litchfield Park. Starting to run a little bit over with some road riders for you here today. James Crosby representing Ride Tech out of Ontario, California. This 68 Camaro. James is doing a lot of improvement over the weekend.
two and she did get a cone. Steve on the behind the wheel. And this is originally his race car. Brian and son won the pro shootout yesterday. Only person in a 65.2. I might have said that wrong. It's Steve and Dad behind the wheel. Brian won the shootout yesterday with a 65.2. Steve ran a 68.7. fast no matter who's behind the wheel. I don't think Brian is nearly as good a driver as we think he is. I think it's just curling the car. Is that quick? <laughs> Thank you. 